now that we know what next.js is in this one we'll be taking a look at how we can create a simple application using next.js the first prerequisite to work with next.js is to have node.js installed and in order to install that you can visit this website node.js.org and there you should be downloading the long time support version and once downloaded and installed you're all good to go the next thing that you need to do is open a visual studio code editor inside that i'm in an empty directory you can launch terminal and the next thing that we need to do over here is inside the directory will be first of all initializing a package.json file by using the command npm init and here you can just go ahead and accept the defaults that comes with this so you can just say next.js press enter and just accept the defaults over here for now and once that's done say yes and now that you can see your package.json file is ready the next step that we need to take is install some components so we'll say npm install and then we'll need to install next and we'll also be installing react and react dom press enter now now that we have installed all these things the next step is to set up our script section over here we'll need three things the dev start and build so one by one we'll be defining those let's go with dev so dev will be calling the command next and then we have build to build the application so we'll say build and here it will be next build and after that we have this start so we can say start as next start and once that's done we can save this file now the other thing that we will be doing is creating a folder called pages the reason behind that is as you can see in the intro video itself next.js makes use of pages directory and then it serves it from there so here what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and create a directory called pages and inside that we'll have a file let's call it as index.js and this index.js will then have export default and here we'll be just printing hello world so we'll have a div and inside this div we'll just say hello world and that will be pretty much it that we'll be doing over here that is all save this and now in order to view the output let's go ahead and try building this we'll say npm run build you can see it has started this optimized production build so once build is complete you can go ahead and say npm start this is going to start a localhost server as you can see over here and uh, there you go you can see the hello world message appearing so in this short one we have covered a couple of important stuff like how to create the application from scratch using next.js and uh, how to set up our package.json file how to build the application and start it in a localhost environment so more on this will be coming up in the next lecture